In the past, women were confronted with gender discrimination in the workplace. Nowadays, these issues seem to have disappeared with the tide, as women have become a force to reckon with in the professional world. At the Department of Communications Student and Alumni Networking event, women shared their opinions on the challenges they have faced as communication professionals. I think the biggest challenge is negotiating my contracts. I think as a woman and my brand, and I want to be approachable, and I want my bosses to see me as very approachable, that it was hard for me to turn into almost uh, a tough cookie during negotiations. My last one, I had a lawyer do it for me so I could keep my brand and let someone else be tough and it works so much better than having me represent myself. With President Obama's uh, signing of the Lilly Ledbetter Act today for uh, equal pay for equal work is really going to go a long way. I know that I have found out that I was paid uh, less as a woman than uh, other folks doing the exact same job at a previous employer and I was absolutely flabbergasted. I confronted my boss about it who just apologized profusely and said this person has one more year of experience than you do and so I have to justify he's got a family you don't. He's at, you know, he stopped short of saying you're a, you know, you're a woman and he's a man, but it blew me away. Despite these situations, these professionals feel that women have overcome the hurdles in the workplace that were prevalent not so very long ago. To land a job and survive in the professional world today, all it takes is the desire and capability, no matter your gender. I think the glass ceiling in communications has um, been shattered so, you know, so much. In my last job, for instance, many of the people in the newsrooms were women. So it wasn't so much getting there, it was how did you make your life work once you got there. Women um, have been relegated to the back seat for so many years and have been told that, they're, you know, that they have a certain role in society. But to be able to prove myself and to show that you know, I can compete um, at a senior level in communications really shows that women have come a long way and that we can really contribute to society. And when it comes to getting the job you want, I think the more people that you can network with and the more people you know, that's how people get jobs. Events like this are huge and I actually got another job out of an event like this seven years ago. I gave them my resume and they ended up hiring me. But networking is everything. It's, it's not what you know, it really is who you know until you get their foot in the door. Tell them your ideas, tell them how you want to get media in the future. And I really think that we're going to see a wave of people being hired. Well, the smart ones are going to hire you.